please excuse the giant mess. I had to bring this thing in post haste because the uh, it was snowing last night. But anyways, this is to be my new electronics workbench. This is a dining room table. It had you know those wavy edges to it. Cut those suckers off and uh, sanded it down. Gave it a nice stain. I think I'm going to give it another coat of stain. I need to put a clear coat on it. Uh, I painted the legs a, a flat black. Mostly because I had it on hand, but I thought the contrast would look pretty good. And I've also got another project here. I picked these up, uh, picked up these two bases at an antique store in uh, Morro Bay, I think is where I picked them up. Anywho, I uh, managed to get some shades. These guys here, which are pretty nice looking. So, we'll see about making a Tiffany lamp or two. And then I gotta, again, the whole place is a giant mess. I need to get the test bench into the back room. Alrighty, so I put a, another coat of stain, and then I was sitting down and contemplating. I could put a clear coat finish on this, like a polyurethane or a, um, I like to use the clear enamel, Rust-Oleum stuff. The thing is, it's gonna take forever to dry, it's gonna outgas for a while, and this is gonna be a test workbench kind of thing so any nice finish on it is going to get scratched and worn down and kind of trashed so I was thinking I would just use a uh, essentially a wax I don't have wax on hand but I got this stuff it's a feed in wax wood polish and conditioner it's mostly wax is what it is so put on real nice and thick uh, as you can see it's kind of is she's she's extra thick that's for sure now I'm going to let it sit for maybe a couple hours and then I'm going to come through with a rag and basically buff the hell out of this and that'll make it, I mean it'll, it'll be waxed essentially. Be low maintenance, you know, every once in a while I'll apply more wax to it as needed. But, you know, if I drag a piece of, you know, equipment or something, stereo test thing across it, I'm not going to worry about scratching the finish because there's no finish essentially, just just the stain. So, yeah. I'll show some pictures and uh, some footage once it's all nice and completed. Alrighty, so I did a polish with the, uh, the old wax. It's got a nice little bit of a sheen to it. And it definitely, uh, yeah, it came out really good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So now it is in position in the room it's going to be in, which is a horrible mess. Um, but a lot of this stuff is electronics and electronic test equipment, so time to get this stuff actually put onto the table. And then I picked up some poplar, and I'm going to be making a back shelf for it as well, which will hold power supplies, function generators, RF signal generators, things of that sort, scopes, and whatnot. So those will be on, on shelves going up. So yeah, let's put stuff on it, figure out the layout I want, and get on with it. Well, I went on a a manhunt throughout the Empire of Dirt here to see uh, see if I could track down all my test equipment. Ooh, there's a very ac over there too. Uh, and it did not disappoint. Look at all the crap I'm gonna have to fit on this test bench. And I think I might end up getting rid of a scope because I've got one, two, three, four scopes here, and I, I mean. And it's a it's a bit excessive. Plus, I got another scope that's over at my old man's place. So, yeah, kind of have to maybe thin the thin the herd here a little bit. And the shelves are going to be a little bit taller than uh, than earlier anticipated. Well, turned into a lovely pain in the ass. So as a result, I'm finishing now. It's uh, I don't know. It's late in the evening. So, no light except for this one damn bulb here. I'm going to put a, a lamp on this desk, but for now, I think I'll put a first layer of stain. And, uh, yeah, I might actually start putting some equipment on it. We'll see. I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. It's getting late. Alrighty, so here, here's sort of what happened. Uh, growing up, uh, my father's an electronics engineer. I'm an electronic technician. Uh, I always wanted a test bench always wanted one. I had sort of a makeshift thing going in my bedroom when I was living at home with my parents. Uh, father, needless to say, was not too thrilled with that. But as a result, 
I was collecting and grabbing any, you know, anything I could get my hands on, you know, in anticipation that one day I would have a test bench. And now, as a result, I've got a ton, a ton of crap. Um, more power supplies than I need, more containers than I need, just boxes of stuff. That's all wires there. That's all vacuum tubes. Those are eight pins or more. Uh, there's older tubes in there. I mean, just tubes for days. Um, I just, I'm into vacuum tube equipment, so I collected mostly that. Another box of tubes there. More tubes down there. Uh, and even some vacuum tubes up there. Uh, but a lot of the equipment I grabbed, actually, some of it wasn't actually working. And I picked it up with the intent that, oh, I'll get it, fix it, and then, you know, have have a working piece of test gear. That's that's the beauty of being able to fix crap. You buy it cheap and you, you make it work. So, to give sort of a tour of what we got going on here, this is my 564 storage oscilloscope. It, this guy's fully working. It's a, a beauty, a wonderful scope. These things are, they're older, but they're, I still think of them as like the Cadillac of, of vintage scopes. Um, Tektronics, they, they, they went above and beyond on these. They're, they're built like a, uh, like a tank, basically. The tubes are, nothing is being overdriven, so they last a very long time. Very reliable, um, just a wonderful scope. I enjoy using it. And it is a vacuum tube powered scope, but it it competes with all my solid state gear as well. Here's a solid state scope. That's a 422. It's considered a portable, although the battery's toast in it, and so I removed it. Um, and it's just, it's a little smaller scope, so it's nice to kind of have that on the bench. So I think I'm going to have these two, and then maybe the one for my father's place. I might swap out... I don't know. I haven't decided yet. One of these is going to get swapped out. Got a couple of voltmeters. This is just a DC voltmeter. This is a military capacitor tester. I got this guy because uh, it'll actually test the capacitors to their working voltage. So this thing, it's got a power supply in it. I don't know if you can see on the meter there. This guy will go up to about 500 volts for testing capacitors. And there's really no equivalent to, when you're testing capacitors, old vintage capacitors, I think i got a bunch around here somewhere. You really want to, you, there's several different tests you can do on them, but one of the harder to do tests is a, a at load test to see, make sure that they're, you know, they're, they have capacitance. And for some of these capacitors, like on this tube equipment, a lot of them are running in the 600 to, you know, 450 to 600 volt range. Yeah, they don't make regular power supplies for that. So that's a really nice tester to have. Uh, and that is working. That works just fine. Um, I got a bunch of 6SN7s down there. I got this uh, Astron power supply. I think I'm going to be getting rid of this guy. It's variable. It's uh, It says it'll put out about 15 amps, which is nice, but it is way too big. And I've already got this guy here, which uh, it says it'll do about three amps which for, for most of the stuff i'm doing that that's more than enough i also have down here and this is in need oh look another box of tubes what a surprise uh this guy does need restoration work this is a lambda power supply lambda makes very nice power supplies um the power supply itself works the displays do not it's a common problem something about a capacitor for the circuit that that has these uh, these displays, so I'm gonna open this guy up and fix it. Um, but as I started setting up the test bench, I got carried away, and uh, what happened here? Well, I wanted to put the things where they need to go, and to put them there, I need to get them working. So I started opening up too many cans of worms. I got a uh, heat kit power supply here. This guy's opening in pieces because I'm waiting on those two capacitors there. They're coming in the mail to be replaced. I have, uh, this is a heat kit. What's the model number? It's I am something. It's, uh, I am 48. This guy's kind of neat. It's for, uh, it'll, 
measure uh, impedance, so it works as a as a voltmeter, an ohm meter, and it also, if you have a, a stereo, vacuum tube stereo or regular stereo, you can hook this up to it and it'll measure the distortion and the power output of it, which is kind of nice, figure out how many watts your amp is. And I'm hoping to get into, I'd like to build, build a vacuum tube amplifier, so that's sort of the goal of this. Got the solder rework station there, Variac there. I am in the process of building a dim bulb tester. That's why I got these uh, these boxes here and stuff. I have another one of those damn sockets, and it's up and vanished like a fart in a windstorm. Just my luck. Um, but I'll locate it, and then I have that. And that guy right there is a TV2 tube tester. Saw that a second ago. TV2AU. Another military tube tester. These things are really nice. They're a little slow to set up for testing tubes, but they're I, I I'm not in a huge hurry here. You know, I'm doing this as a hobby, so that's what we got. I got a B and K uh, oscilloscope that I actually brought into work, and then one of the other mechanics toasted it. So I don't think I give enough of a shit to re repair it. So that's gonna go out. I got a Heath kit uh, vector scope, which actually uh, I know a guy who's into repairing uh, old televisions. I might give that to him. Uh, I got a Marantz here. This also needs repairs. And vector research uh, tape deck and stereo tuner. I got a Cornell Dublier, or Dublier, it's French, capacitor tester, and then another tube tester. I think it's a Hickok uh, under that one. Uh, the Cornell tube tester works. The Hickok, I think, needs repairs. Um, so these guys are all open because they're waiting uh, capacitors. Uh, old vacuum tube equipment, before you even want to consider putting power in them, got to get rid of all the old capacitors. They, they dry up. They basically become a short, and then when you power them on, you cook transformers. Uh, I got this guy up here. This is a sine square generator. Another... Uh, vacuum tube equipment here I don't know if you've seen a sort of theme going anyways it's got a ton of capacitors in it as you can see there those three on the right need to be replaced so again they're in the mail they're coming one day I got this uh, what else have we got here got a transistor tester I think it's called the transi master this one's pretty cool um, basically for testing transistors. I mean, there's not much more to say about it than that. Probably won't get a whole lot of use based off of the uh, vacuum tubes on this workbench, but you never know. Uh, what else have we got going here? I got a Heath kit oscilloscope. That was uh, one of my first projects. That has been repaired and it's working as far as I know. Uh, but, you know, I, I think I'm going to be getting rid of that guy too. It's large, doesn't do anything that these other two scopes won't do, so... That guy's got to go. This was given to me by a neighbor. This is a... I'll be honest, I don't know what the hell it is. It was built by uh, her husband, and it's kind of scary looking. It's got, you know, test leads on the side. It's got... I don't know. It plugs into the wall. Oh, the plug pins are broken. I was thinking I might disassemble it for parts and use it to make a power supply that's a little less janky looking. What yeah, else? So, uh, this is the big old box of transformers. I got about 30 transformers in there. Some for vacuum tube, for various other things. Uh, what else have we got going on here? This toolbox needs to somehow make its way onto the bench or near the bench. I've also got a drone project that's gonna, as soon as I get the vacuum t or the capacitors for this vacuum tube equipment, get them fixed, get them up onto the shelf, out of the way, get some actual bench space here, and then that drone needs to be put together. That's gonna be for mine exploring. I also have a uh, Pioneer stereo. That was my main stereo and a chip. What is it? It's a, I can't remember the number on it. A chip bit the dust and it's no longer working. So um, that needs to be troubleshot. It's not getting the right voltage to the chip. Some Something, there's some tomfoolery afoot. Uh, what else we got here? This is another, uh, this is, I believe, a precision signal generator. Yeah. And there goes the screws. You can see there, yeah, there, just precision signal generator. These are really nice, uh, although 
these capacitors, where are they? That big mamma jamma, that guy, all these guys in here, those all need to be replaced. So, again, uh, again, those are in the mail. There's some uh, boxes for vacuum tube equipment. I was pulling them out. I, so, uh, I ended up getting a, a huge lot of vacuum tubes, uh, like just in a giant box. That was actually the box there. They've been sent out in the desert. That's why they're all filthy. There's some of them. Uh, here's another bunch of them. I mean, they're super, super filthy. But a lot of them, and I put them in this box here, if I could get the damn thing open, had the original boxes. These are, these are much older tubes here. Um, so I want to see, uh, try throwing them in amplifiers, see what kind of sounds they make. Just kind of, you know, mess around with them, have fun. I, I do this as a hobby, so I, I have a good time and do what I want, basically. But that's the bench. I've added, uh, we got lead storage here on the side. Got all my containers of parts. And I added that plank over there, which is also going to be the dim bolt tester, to give it a little bit more stability, because it, uh, she was a weebling and a wobbling. It was, it was kind of... It, was, it would have been more funny if there wasn't a vacuum tube test gear on it at the time. So, but this is uh, this is the test bench. This is sort of what it's going to look like. Um, I'll add more footage once I get this thing actually, you know, fully set up.